What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Nurse Bass back with another video. And in this one, what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to make basically my introductory uh, video into dosage calculations. And so what this is going to be is to try and demonstrate a different kind of format, a different way of presenting dosage calculations to you guys. I know that we have a new semester underway. A lot of you guys are just getting started, or you might be a little bit deep into the program, but dosage calculation is still something that's very pertinent to everybody. And I figured that it would be something good to start this semester off with. So without further ado, let's dive in. Are you listening? Nurse Pass. Beast mode. So guys, what we have here in this is I, I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy this format, uh, the way in which I'm going to present this here on the screen of doing dosage calculations. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go through three introductory dosage count questions of different variety. But the overall intention is if you guys do end up liking this style of video format, then what we're going to do is we're going to roll out an entire learning playlist. That's kind of my my idea where we break down all the different types of dosage calculation questions that you can get one video per dosage calc question type, if that makes sense. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and dive in. I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below if you enjoy this. And if you have not already, if you are subscribed, press that bell notification. YouTube is slacking on getting notifications out to you guys. We got like 75K here and notifications are really not going out to people. So if you care for this kind of content and you want to see more of it, and you'd like to be notified, press the bell. All right, so here's what we got, guys. First question here is, again, we're just going through three, but we're gonna start very, very basic and simple. Question one is, the MD orders 40 milligrams of furosemide PO for your patient. Medication is available in 0 0.04 gram tablets. How many tablets do you give? So it's always very important whenever you're reading through these questions is to, to take note of the dosage that they're giving you. So here, they order 40 milligrams, but our tablets come in grams. So we already know that there's going to be some conversion involved. So 40 milligrams PO, and it's available in 0.04 tablets. You always want to understand whenever you're looking at these questions, what are they asking for? And in this instance, they're asking for how many tablets. So we know that the end goal, what our answer is going to be, it needs to be tablets. Okay, so fair enough. What information do we know? Well, we know that they want 40 milligrams. All right, so that's what they want. But what information we actually have is, we know that one tablet equals 0 0.04 grams. So there you go, one tab equals 0 0.04 grams. Another way of writing this would be like this, 0 0.04 grams in one tablet. But what the MD orders is 40 milligrams. And so what we should do is we should go ahead and convert grams into milligrams. And so we know that one gram equals 1,000 milligrams, What's another way that we could write this? A thousand milligrams are in one gram. Okay, and now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little cross multiplication. We know what we're given here are 0 0.04 gram tablets. So grams are on the bottom on the left in the denominator. We're gonna put grams on the bottom on the right. And so since grams are on the bottom uh, on the left and the right, milligrams are gonna be on the top on the left and the right. So we know that this is going to be a milligram, milligram value and basically what we're trying to do is convert 0 0.04 grams into milligrams. So this is where our X is gonna go. And it's at this point that we just simply do some cross multiplication. One times X is X equals 1000 times 0 0.04. We'll do it on the calculator. 1000 times 0 0.04 equals 40. So what we know is that 0 0.04 grams is the same as 40 milligrams. So what we'll do is we'll come back up top, and instead of writing 0 0.04 grams per tab, we now know that it's actually 40 milligrams per tab. And so the medication is available to us in 0 0.04 gram tablets or 40 milligram tablets. The question is asking how many tablets do you give and the MD ordered 40 milligrams of furosemide. So, in other words, the MD ordered one tablet. I had to make that look a little prettier. So, just to summarize, MD orders 40 milligrams of furosemide PO. Medication is available in 0 .04 gram tabs. How many tabs do you give? First thing that we did is we wanted to take a look and see what are we even asking for. Well, we want to know how many tabs are you going to give this patient. 
And then we know that we have to do some conversion because right from the rip, we notice that there are different values. One says milligrams, the order and the supply comes in grams. So we already know that there's going to need to be some conversion. And so what we did is we wrote it out. One tab equals 0 0.04 grams. That is the information that we are given. We know that one tablet is equal to 0 0.04 grams. We know that we need to do some conversion. So what we did is we went ahead and converted grams to milligrams. Now, again, this is a very simple way of, I mean, this is a very written out way to do it. And I only do it in this way for demonstration purposes, just to go ahead and get you in the mindset of cross multiplication. You know, a lot of people out there might be able to realize right off the top of their head that if we got uh, 0 0.04 grams and we need to convert that to milligrams, it's as simple as multiplying 0 0.04 times 1000. People, some people out there know that. Or, in the other hand, if you were given 40 milligrams and you needed to know how many grams it was, you would divide it by 1,000. But not everybody out there knows these conversions right off of the top of their head, how many grams are in milligrams. So just for the demonstration purposes, just to make things a little bit more explained out for perhaps those who are newer to conversions, I went ahead and did it this way. We knew that one gram equals a thousand milligrams, or written out this way, a thousand milligrams in one gram. And then for cross multiplication purposes, grams are on the bottom on the left, so grams are on the bottom on the right. Milligrams up top on the left, milligrams up top on the right. And what we're trying to figure out is how many milligrams are in 0 0.04 grams. You cross multiply. You've realized that X equals 40 milligrams. That is the answer. And then you realize that instead of 0.04 grams per one tab, it's actually 40 milligrams per one tab. The MD was asking to give 40 milligrams. So how many tabs do you give? It comes out to one tab. I hope that wasn't too convoluted. I just wanted to explain that out a little bit more for those of you who out there who are newer. Nonetheless, I digress. Let's dive into question number two. So for question number two, again, we're going to be diving in a little bit further into some uh, cross multiplication. Again, kind of the foundation of these dosage calculation questions. Question number two says the physician has ordered six milligrams of dexamethasone IV push for your patient. The syringes come in a concentration of 10 milligrams per mil. How many mils do you give? Again, what are they asking? We're, we know that our answer is going to be in mils. How many mils are they going to give? Try not to get too wrapped up in what medication is it? What route are we giving it? I don't care. Okay, I just don't care. Unless the end question is asking for something pertinent to that. Let's get rid of the filler information that we don't need. How many mils are we going to give? Make it real simple. The physician has ordered six milligrams, so that's what we've ordered. And what is our concentration? What is our known information? We know right from the get-go. We have 10 milligrams in one mil. So we write it like this, 10 milligrams in one mil, and the physician has ordered six milligrams of dexamethasone. So milligrams are up top on the left. We're gonna put milligrams up top on the right. And the question is asking, whoa, <laughs> the question is asking, how many mils do you give? So we know that mils are on the bottom on the left. We're gonna put an X over here, and this is gonna represent our mils on the bottom on the right. Again, a simple cross multiplication. So 10 times X equals 10 X and six times one equals six. It's at this point that we're going to do the division, divide by 10 on both sides. Of course, 10 divided by 10 equals X. And on the right, six divided by 10 is the math that we need to do. Some of you might be quick off the top. X equals 0.6 mils. Mills are what is left right? X equals 0.6 mils. So whenever the question is asking you, how many mils do you give? This is how you do it. We are given a known information of 10 milligrams per mil. So we write it out. We are given that the physicians ordered six milligrams. Again, we're taking note that our milligram, it's milligrams and milligrams. There's no grams here. There's no confusion of conversion needed. We have same uh, values. So Milligrams on the top on the left, milligrams on the top on the right. We have 10 milligrams per one mil is our concentration. We're ordering six milligrams. We're asking how many mils do you give? And at that point, it's a simple cross multiplication, giving you your answer of 0.6 mils. 
If you guys have any questions or any confusion about any of these questions as I'm going through, drop it down in the comments. Hey, question one, why did you do this? Question two, how did you come to this? Or could you have done it in this way? And I'd be happy to answer you. Understand that a lot of people do these questions in a lot of different ways, and there's really no right or wrong way as long as you come up with the right answer at the end of it. So nonetheless, let's dive into the third and final question for this first video. And also guys, don't forget, hit that bell notification if you are interested in these videos and you wanna be notified every time we drop a new one. This is gonna be the most confusing one, not confusing. This is gonna be the most in-depth one that we're gonna to do today. And again, this is just an introductory video. We, I plan on breaking these down question type by question type. So I think it'll be interesting to just get a, a little introduction here. So question three, the MD has ordered a propofol drip for your patient. Don't care what the, what kind of med it is, okay? They've ordered a propofol drip for your patient to infuse at a rate of 15 mics per kg per hour. The propofol comes pre-mixed in a concentration of 40 milligrams in 100 mils and the patient weighs 90 kgs. What we are asking is, at what rate do you infuse this med in mils per hour? A Lot of information here, right? A lot of values that were being given, so this is gonna kind of be a multi-step question, a multi-step way of going about finding the answer. We know at the end of the day, we need to find our answer in mils per hour. Now, the best thing to do here is to take the given information and start knocking each step out one by one. So here's what I would do. We are given 15 mics per kg per hour, and we're given how many kgs the patient weighs. So what I would first do is find out how many total mics per hour are we gonna be infusing on this patient. A simple way to do this is we know that we have 15 mics per kg and the patient weighs a total of 90 kgs, so you could simply multiply by 90 kgs. Now again, I don't wanna confuse you guys, but I wanted to understand that another way that you could have written this would be like this. Now you could have written it like 15 mics in one kg is equal to 90 kgs on the bottom on the left, 90 kgs on the bottom on the right, and we want to know how many total mics, so we signify that with X. It's not that difficult. It doesn't have to be that convoluted is what I mean. So I'm gonna erase that. We can just talk it out loud, simply saying, we're given 15 mics per kg, and we have a total of 90 kgs. So in order to find that out, you just multiply 15 mics by 90 kgs. And whenever we come up here to the calculator and we do that math, that is a total of 1350 mics infused per hour, 1350 mics infused per hour, right? So instead of saying 15 mics per kick per hour, we've multiplied the 15 mics by the total kicks the patient weighs and we have gotten our answer of 1350 mics per hour. Okay, cool. So now we've got that piece of information. Let's little, do a little highlight in red. So now we know how many mics per hour are gonna be infusing. Our concentration comes in 40 milligrams per 100 mils. Now this is an instance where we realize we've got mics here and we've got milligrams here. To keep things simple, what I would do is I would, we, we already know that we're infusing 1350 mics per hour. I would go ahead and convert your milligrams to mics so that our values are the same. So how do we do that? How do we convert 40 milligrams into mics? Well, in the previous question one, we really broke it down into the cross multiplication way of doing things, but a more simple way, kind of how we, how we did our mics per kg here, we would do 40 milligrams, and to convert that to mics, we would times that, we know there's 1,000 mics per one milligram, we would multiply that by 1,000 mics, and whenever you do the math, you do 40 times 1,000. That gives you a total of 40,000 mics per 100 mils. So see, all that we did was we took our 40 milligrams and 100 mils, and we converted our milligrams to mics. So instead of saying we have 40 milligrams per 100 mils, we could also say we have 40,000 mics per 100 mils. 
And we simply converted our milligrams to mics since our original value is in mics. We want to go ahead and convert and make sure that our values are the same. We have mics per hour here. Let's get mics per mil down here. So once you've completed these two steps, we know that we have a concentration of 40,000 mics per 100 mils, and we are infusing at a rate of 1350 mics per hour. What we need to know is we need to know how many mils per hour. So how do we take this information and figure out mils per hour? This is how we do it. We're going to first start by writing out we have 40,000 mics in 100 mils. Then over here, we have mics up top on the left, so mics are going to be up top on the right. We have 1350 mics. And since mils are on the bottom on the left, we're going to put X over here because we're trying to figure out how many mils, right? We're going to put mils on the bottom on the right. And at this point, it is a cross multiplication. We know we're running at 1350 mics per one hour. So this is going to give our answer of how many mils per hour. So once you cross multiply, 40,000 times X is 40,000 X. And then 1350 times 100, 135,000 on the right. Divide both sides by 40,000. On the left, the 40,000s cancel each other out, so you're just left with X. And then you have to do 135,000 divided by 40,000. And that is going to be X equals 3.375 mils per hour. That is how you figure out that kind of question. I hope that that made sense. It's really just a matter of taking the given information that you receive, con converting what needs to be converted, then at that point, you start to do your cross multiplication with the given information that you have. And ultimately, you come out to X equals 3.375 mils per hour. You would likely round up. It would likely be specified because you can't, <laughs> you can't infuse 3.375 mils. It'd probably be like 3.8 mils per hour. But this question would specify that. Nonetheless, the overarching idea is that is how you're going to break down that kind of question. I hope that this video helped a little bit in answering a few different kinds of introductory dosage calculation questions. Let me know if you enjoyed this format. Let me know if you're interested in the idea of a learning playlist, basically a large playlist where we break down each individual type of question. You know, we're talking about simple conversions, uh, kilogram questions, weight-based questions, drip rate questions, drip factor questions, all the different kinds that you could see broken down video by video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please share with a friend in your cohort who you think may benefit and press the subscribe button if you're new here. And please hit that bell notification if you're interested in catching this kind of content in the future. Um, nonetheless, I'm out of here. It's your boy, Nurse Bass. We're putting out videos every week to motivate, uplift, and inspire you to be the best damn nurse you can be. And I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Peace.